Does your TV remote no longer control your TV? This is the issue I had with this Sharp TV just here. We actually used to rent out a lot of Sharp TVs and we still got quite a few. These are all the remote controls for them and I didn't know which one it was. None of them would work because when we bring a TV back from rental, we put it upstairs and we'll take the batteries out so we don't get any issues with batteries leaking or anything like that in the remote control. And then I didn't label it annoyingly and I didn't know which one went with which TV. And I couldn't work out how to actually pair it so it would work again because it's Bluetooth, it's not just infrared, so I couldn't just put the batteries in and it would work. I've got to actually control it via Bluetooth, which means it will need pairing. Some remotes you just press them and they pair straight away. A lot of the Samsung new models will do that. But this Sharp TV didn't do it. So I did a quick Google search, went on YouTube and I couldn't find the way of doing it. But then I worked it out. So this is why I did this video. So don't throw that remote control away and order a new one. Your one may work just fine. And all you have to do is press two buttons for five seconds. So let me show you which two. It's literally just the two at the bottom of your remote control. So in my case, it's the yellow and the blue colors. You hold them down for five seconds while I was pointing at the TV and then it will come up and say your TV is paired. And then you can just press okay and that is it. So that is how you pair your Bluetooth Sharp Remote to your Sharp TV. And potentially this could work with other brand manufacturers. I've only tried it on the Sharp. So if you've had this issue and it's worked, let me know in the comments.